and former Iranian president Akbar Hashami Rafsanjani has died in hospital in Tehran. It's reported that the 82-year-old uh, passed away from a heart attack. He was a leading figure in the Iranian revolution and the de facto commander-in-chief during the Iran-Iraq war. Well, for more on this, I'm joined now by Farhad Razai. He's a senior research fellow at the Center for Iranian Studies based in Ankara. Uh, thank you very much for talking to us. Firstly, can you just explain thank to us having... why he was such an influential figure in Iranian politics? First of all, sir, I have to explain that he was very healthy and it came as a total surprise to everyone. But uh, we need to wait for more news about the circumstances of his passing. As you just mentioned that he, he was a very uh, influential person in Iran's politics. And uh, uh, now by his death, uh, it has more implication and in internal effect and the uh, in fact and regional effect. But more is uh, the internal effect of uh, his passing away. What is absolutely clear is that his death will change the balance of power in favor of hardliners. He was one of the most effective and charismatic politicians in Iran, and, and his death will uh, hugely damage the moderation and future of Iran, and more importantly, the future of normalization project. His agenda was normalizing Iran's foreign relations with outside world by curtailing Iran's uh, involvement in terrorism and reintegrating Iran into the community of nations. We will probably see the effect in the upcoming presidential election. Hardliners will probably disqualify moderates and uh, reformist candidates and uh, can change the result of the election, especially for the election of the next Supreme Leader by the Assembly of Experts. Hardliners will probably have no, face no challenge in securing their own candidate and electing their own hardline cleric as the next Supreme Leader. This will be probably the uh, uh, events that we will, we will face in the, in the near future in Iran. So he was an influential figure, but, but obviously I presume quite divisive as well. How damaging could Iranian politics become right now? How divisive could Iranian politics become? Uh, well, absolutely, it would be divisive, but uh, as I said, the hardliners have, have upper hand and uh, they will probably face no challenge in the near future. Uh, uh, Rafsan Jani was a, was a very uh, influential and a charismatic person and he could, he could gather many forces behind himself, but now, since uh, he's passed away, nobody uh, has uh, such a charismatic characteristics and uh, probably uh, uh, we will face more more uh, problems in Iran and uh, m more importantly in the next upcoming uh, elections. So uh, the, the uh, President Rouhani will probably be in, in a uh, more trouble in the next upcoming uh, elections. What options are there available for the reformists? Well, to be honest, I don't, I don't see any options available for the reformists. Okay, uh, thank you very much for talking to us. Farhad Rezai there.